right, all right, all right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to the Everyday Until Dynamic Devotion and Prayer. Welcome, welcome. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Come on, good morning, y'all. Glad y'all are here this morning. Glad y'all are here this morning. Come on, y'all. Somebody give God glory this morning. Let's enter in with his, uh, into his courts with uh, thanksgiving, enter his gates with praise. Come on, let's do it this morning. I'm, I'm glad that you're here with me this morning. Bless him, bless him. Come on in. That's good, that's good, that's good. That's how we do it, guys. You come in with hearts. We come in with our, our thumbs up, high fives, whatever emoji, whatever thing you want to use. It is a good morning. It is a blessed morning. I'm excited. I can already sense we're going to have a great time uh, this morning. Thank you all for calling. Thank you all for your lives, IG, Facebook, uh, whichever place that you're in. Glad that you're here this morning. Come on. Come on. Come on in. Y'all know how to do it. We come in with thanksgiving. We come in with praise. We are certain to make sure uh, that when we come in, we also come in uh, with what, y'all? Come on. We put in our city and our state. That's right. For those of you that are new to the call, welcome this morning. We're glad that you're here. Somebody invited you. We know that. And so why don't you give them a shout out, the person that invited you, and thank them for having you here this morning. Uh, we put in our city and our state uh, to indicate uh, where we are and all the places that we're participating in. It's encouraging. And additionally, uh, we're still in faith believing. Now, we're going to stay in this position uh, we're going to get all of these other components uh, added. And this is going to be incredible uh, for us to stay here in this position. Our world, our country, uh, your life, we need this now more than any other time before. I'm excited about where we are. I'm excited about what we're doing. But we need to make sure that we stay on the wall. So we put our city in our state. Uh, we're believing for 50 ambassadors and for uh, the provinces of uh, the U.S. and all across the world eventually, but we're going to start uh, with 50 ambassadors for every state representative, uh, representative, <laughs> represented. Uh, we're in faith to believe uh, that if there's somebody righteous in every state that God would stay uh, his judgment. We want people uh, to be depopulating with us, depopulating hell and repopulating or populating heaven, expanding the kingdom of God. Uh, we do this, guys, because we believe. And then we come in and we do it every day, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time, because we believe that breakthrough is on the other side of consistency. And to the degree that you can remain consistent will determine uh, the breakthroughs, the multiplied the multiplied breakthroughs that you get a chance to see. So that's what we're doing. Uh, that's why we're here. This is a time of intercession. We're praying. We're believing. Uh, we started it. <laughs> we're we're still on the wall. Uh, we are uh, okay. Yeah, we say we're on the wall uh, as if we're in the city of Jerusalem itself, where we're putting our prayer requests. We're putting our praise reports. Uh, we're putting names. Uh, we're putting situations. We're putting them on the wall. And uh, and if you're on the one of the lives, you can place your prayer request now there. Uh, someone will pray with you. Or if you uh, have a, uh, a prayer request you believe is personal and uh, or, or private, and uh, if you would uh, put uh, click on the link. <laughs> Come on, I got to get together this morning. You got to click on one of the links. Uh, the link that will be in the Facebook uh, place, it will go right there. Fill it out. Those of you that are on the call, IG. Uh, admin at amazingchurch.com uh, for now. Uh, but when you do that, uh, someone from my staff and even myself, uh, if it requires it, faith filled instructions, we'll send them back to you uh, so that you can get them. But we're, we're here praying for you and believing God for you as well. Uh, those of you that are in watch parties, thank you so much for hosting a watch party. Those of you that are hosting it, uh, those of you that are in there, the person that's hosting it, they wanted you to be a part uh, of it so that they can interact with you directly, uh, speak back to you directly. And so, host, make sure that you're interacting directly uh, because we don't do it here in this space. Uh, but, man, they loved you enough, wanted you to be a part of that. We're so glad uh, that you decided to jump in there. Uh, let's give God praise for all of those that are hosting the watch party with those people that they can interact with on, on a regular basis. Uh, we're proud of uh, you guys. I'm telling you, we love you uh, for doing that. All right, this morning, uh, we're going to give you an inspired word. It's called Every Day Until Dynamic Devotion and Prayer. It's dynamic because we're all participating. There's many parts that are moving. That's what dynamic means, that are many parts moving. Uh, but also, uh, because your participation, uh, you're sending up the hearts, you're uh, like, commenting, sharing, and tagging. Like, comment, share, and tag. While we're doing this, is your participation so that when the inspiration, which is found in the Word of God, the Word of God is the inspired Word, and so we give inspiration. And then motivation. What does this word mean? 
mean for me today, how, how we're applying it uh, for our lives today so we'll get motivation explaining it and how can I apply it. That's an app. You're responsible for the app. So we'll get you uh, inspiration. Uh, we'll get you motivation. You're responsible for the application. All right. Come on, y'all. Let's give God praise for it. If, you, if you're excited about it, I'm telling you, I'm excited about it. I believe that today you're going to get something that's going to really bless your life. I promise you, I believe it. Uh, not only do I believe it, I believe you're going to see it and you're going to actually live it out and it's going to really impact your life in such a way that you're going to find change. Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Y'all hold on a second. I, I think it's the, uh, I think it's the cry in the music. I had to come, I got to go back and get something that's going to work for me. Uh, one second for me. Uh, let, let's see, uh, while you're doing that, why don't you say hello to somebody? We come in and we say hello. Uh, we let people know good morning. We say, we share a good morning. There's so many different things that you guys have done. I'm so, uh, glad that we're here together, uh, getting it done. Uh, uh what's that lady's name? I'm trying to think of that lady's name right now. Um, uh, well, I'm, I'm probably going to miss a name. Glory to God. <laughs> but we're going to try anyway, right? Uh, that's good. Yes, that's what it is. That's what it is right there. I, I was I was trying because I want to make sure that we match uh, what the Lord is doing here for us this morning. All right. So uh, good stuff. If you see somebody that you hadn't seen in a while on the wall, make sure you let them know that you're glad that they're here this morning. Come on, tell them I'm glad. I'm glad you're here this morning. I am glad that you're here this morning. <laughs> All right, your inspiration this morning, guys. Are you ready? Come on. Another thing that we do, folks. Another thing we do is that we begin uh, our uh, we begin our inspiration moment uh, where we give the word of God. We begin that, folks. We begin that uh, with praise. You see the hearts go up. You see the thumbs go up. That's because people are already getting ready uh, to praise God for uh, the word that is about to come forth. All right. So the word that's coming forth today is going to come out of. Uh, the inspiration is coming out of Deuteronomy. Y'all ready? Come on. Y'all Y'all ready this morning? Let me get this together for y'all. Are y'all ready this morning? Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy, uh, the 28th chapter. Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. And uh, and it's coming out of, uh, you ready? Verse number 8. Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter and verse number 8. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Are you ready? Uh, it reads... Uh, it reads, the Lord will command, are you ready? The Lord will command the blessing on you in your storehouses and in all to which you set your hand, and he will bless you in the land which the Lord your God has given you. Come on, let me give it to you again. The Lord will command the blessing on you in your, listen, he will command the blessing on you in your storehouses and in all to which you set your hand, and he will bless you in the land which the Lord God has given you. Now, this is this is the Lord. This is the Lord uh, giving a word uh, from Moses, prophesying, telling the the children of Israel as they're coming out uh, of uh, of exile, coming out. Uh, of the wilderness, getting ready to go into the land. Joshua is getting ready to take over. Moses is giving last words. All right, so I wanted to give you all that so that we can properly apply it for where it's coming from. That's the uh, the homiletics uh, for it so that you'll know uh, where that's coming from, all right? So uh, this is uh, the application inspiration for the day because this is impromptu. We're applying it as if we're reading it today so we can pull the principle out of it, all right? So here it is, guys. This is what it says, all right? The Lord will command the blessing. This is in reference to Leviticus 25 where he says that he's going to bless you in such a way that it will be on you for three years. Get this. This is Leviticus. He says, the Lord will bless you. It's going to be there for three years. Let me read it Read it to you so that you'll, so that you'll have it, okay? Come on. Good morning. Good morning. Come in. Come on. Good morning. Glad y'all are here this morning. All right. It says, then I will command my blessing on you. This is Leviticus 25 and 21. Then I will command my blessing, listen, on you in the sixth year, and it will bring forth produce enough for three years. Produce enough for three years. Okay, so I wanted you to get that. He says, so the Lord will command the blessing. This is 
are uh, going to be on you. He places a blessing enough for three years. Let's take that. Let's take that. Listen, the, the literal is for them, but the principle is for us. All right. The literal is for them. The principle so we can apply today is for us. He says he's going to bless it on you. On you means that he's going to do something personal for you in your storehouses. That means he's going to do something in your possessions, the storehouses, stuff that you were, that you already have. All right. Storehouses, your savings account, investments account, uh, your your. Uh, your your fun space. Uh, he's gonna put it on you. The things that you possess, uh, houses, all the stuff that you possess. Follow me. Follow me. And then it says, and in all to which you set your hand. That's everything that you produce. That's all the business. That's the the work that you're doing. And then he says, and he will bless you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you. This is uh, going to be reference for future. This is about your future. So here's your motivation. You, I know you're saying, you said, uh, no, nah, Pastor, you got to make that, you got to make that connect. You got to make that connect. What does that mean for me today? Because this is what your motivation is going to help you. It's going to help you with your, with your app. Stay, stay with me. Motivation. God is placing a blessing upon you. It will be enough for three years for you, your possessions, for your business, and it will affect your future. So you got that? Let me say it to you again. I know, I know you said you're going to be bold and say that. No, I'm going to take the principle out and I'm going to apply it today. I'm going to live as if this is applying to me today. I know who it applies to literally. That's for all my theologians. I understand it, but this I'm going to apply to my life today. Receive this, all right? So you're not just going to get an inspiration. You'll get a prophetic word this morning. Are you ready? God is placing a blessing upon you, up on you. Let me say it that way. God is placing a blessing up on you. It will be enough for three years for you, your possessions, for your businesses, what you produce, and it will affect your future. So today, what's my app? Y'all want to know what the app is, right? What is my app today? Your app is this. Today, <laughs> make righteous, come on, make righteous decisions you have too much to lose. Make righteous decisions. You got too much to lose. Somebody, come on. Talk to somebody. Let them know, hey, now you got to make wise, righteous decisions because you got too much to lose. <laughs> You can't play around here. We can't. We can't make games uh, happen here. You. You got to really understand that you have too much to lose today. Receive it today. Make wise, quality, righteous decisions because you have too much to lose. Don't throw away what is about to happen. And beloved people, tribe, family, church, hear what I'm saying. There is about to be a happening, and you got to be a part of it. And all you do is make sure that you're making wise, not just wise quality, but righteous decisions on today. All right, y'all, that's your inspiration. Y'all got it. I'm telling you, that's heaven today. Deuteronomy 28, chapter verse number 8, was in my spirit when I went to bed. Didn't read it till this morning. Wanted to have this surprise. That's your inspiration. That's your motivation. You know what it meant for them. So in principle, what could that mean for me? That means that we're in a, we're in a trend. Oh! We're in a transitional moment. We're coming out of wilderness and we're crossing over. It looked bad. It felt bad. Uh, there were a lot that died along. God is saying something. A lot died along the way. My God. But there are those that crossed over the River Jordan and went into the promised land. There were some things they had to overcome in the crossover, but nonetheless, they crossed over. Joshua became the leader. A new leader arose, and I'm telling y'all, come on, this is a spiritual thing. God is revealing something. I'm going to have to go back and get the rest of that. That's your devotion this morning. Let's go ahead and go into prayer. You've got your application. Your app is today. Today. You have to make some decisions today, today, and all your decisions need to be wise and need to be righteous. Y'all go back and read that. Go back and ask the Lord, what is he saying to you uh, fully? We got to get this, y'all. <laughs> Glory to God. Come on. Let's, let's praise him. Let's get ready to go in there. Let's get ready. Let's get ready. Come on. Come on, y'all. This is our time. We're about to approach the throne. You come into the outer courts. You come into the gates. 
you made the offering, you've given him praise. We're ready to go into the inner court, the inner court where we're preparing. We take, we partake of a bread. We've partaken of the bread. Come on, come on. It's time to go into the holies of holies. He says, when we go in here, that we are to cast our cares. When we go in here, we're to make our requests known. When we go in here, we're to go boldly before the throne. He is the great God. He is the great king. He's ready. He's willing. Come on. It's your time to adore him. It's your time to give him glory. It's your time to let him know how much you appreciate him. I know you're waiting on me, but let's go ahead and go in this morning. Hallelujah. We bless you this morning. Come on. Bless him. Father, we love you. We give you praise this morning. You're worthy of all the praise, all the glory, all the adoration. God, we give you thanks this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have an expectation of you being who you said you are. You're the great God. You're the great Lord. You're the I am. You're the I am that I am. We thank you, Lord God. We bless your name. Hallelujah. We come before your throne this morning, God. We're casting our cares upon you. You said you know what we have need of before we ask. You said, God, that when we come to pray, we're praying in agreement with your word. We declare that you shall do what you said you would do, that you're not a man that you should lie, that, God, you never change. You're the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. What you did for one in principle, you're willing to do for another one. God, we give you glory this morning. We magnify your name. We lift your name high. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, for he is great and greatly to be praised, for he is to be feared above all gods, for all the other gods of nations are idols, but our God, he developed, he built, he created, he made the heavens, and honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Oh, ye gates, lift up your heads. Give him praise. Come on. Give him praise. He is the King of kings. He is the Lord of lords. He is our great God. He is our soon coming King. He is our Savior, our Redeemer, our Counselor, our Keeper, our Comforter, our Healer, our Provider. Come on, God. We give you glory this morning. We give you praise this morning. Thank you, God. Come on. We love you this morning. We need you, Lord. I need you. I love you. I appreciate you. All the things that you're about to do, all the things that you've already done. And God, in this moment, in this time, in this day, these light afflictions cannot be compared. These things that come upon us can't stay. You've given us power and authority. Thank you, Lord God, for putting us in the position. And nothing by any means shall be able to harm us because all things are working together for our good. Nothing can take us out of your hand. Nothing can separate us from your love. Nothing can stop your love coming towards us. Nothing can stop who you are. Nothing can stop your power. Nothing can stop your ability. Nothing can stop your will and your plan for our lives. We give you glory, God. Nothing can stop it. No disease, no sickness, no virus, no corona, no government, no election, no prophecy, no witch, no warlock. Nothing can stop, God, what you have for us. We give you glory for it because you are, God, the one one who speaks and you are the one who sees what you say and we are your children God and we believe and so we speak we declare and so we decree we believe and we receive in the moment that we're praying we give you praise this morning we magnify your name this morning we woke up God this morning to give you glory we woke up this morning with a praise in our lips hallelujah come on come on let's give him glory this morning <laughs> He's worthy, y'all. He's worthy. Come on. He's worthy. Come on. Come on. This morning, give him glory. I'm telling you, there's a promise on the line. There's a praise that's necessary. Receive it now in your spirit. Receive it now in your heart. Come on. You've got to give him glory. Here's the problem. You've been so used to doom and gloom. You're looking at the news every day. You're looking at the prospects of future being postponed. Proof of future being put away. But God said that I'm going to bless you. I love you like I love them. You are no longer Jew. You're no longer Gentile. You're no longer Greek. You are the son and the daughter of God. Give him glory this morning. Hallelujah. Come on. <laughs> He's going to carry us through. He's going to carry us over. He's going to get us through it. you got to give praise. I'm telling you, give him glory. Don't let the enemy have no room, no space, no time, no talking. Shut him up. We bind the voice and the whispers of the enemy. And we declare that our ears are open and attentive to hear what you would have to say to us, God. We give you glory this morning. We thank you. We ask that you forgive us for all of our sin. Forgive us for the things that we're aware of. Forgive us for the things, God, that we overlook. And for God, the places where we have been lethargic, lazy, <laughs> come on, apathetic, 
We're asking God in Jesus' name that you forgive us in all of these areas so that, God, we won't have earned poverty as a wage. God Almighty, <laughs> we love you this morning. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your care. Thank you for your concern. We give you blessing on today. Come on, let me give you your moment. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go and praise him. Come on. Go and give him glory. Come on. Throw back your head. Wake up the people in your house if you ain't done it already. <laughs> Let him know how good he is. Let him know how good he is. Come on. Bless his name. He's worthy of it all. He's worthy of all the praise, all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration. He is a good God, and he's never failing. Come on. Wake up the people in your house. If you ride the bicycle, stop riding. If you're running, stop running. Come on. Come on. If you walk outside, just to holler. Make sure you let all the neighbors know that God is good. He's worthy. He's faithful. Come on, bless his name. And we love him. Father, we thank you this morning. And we come before you. You said make our request known unto you, God, through prayer and supplication. So this morning, God, we're asking now in Jesus' mighty name. <laughs> we're asking, God, that you would heal those that are in need of healing now. You are Rapha. You are healer. We're asking God that you would raise those that are on their sick bed off of their sick bed. We're asking God that those that are in their deathly situation, that death is at the door, that you would perform a miracle and raise them off of their deathbed. We're asking God that you would refresh and restore and replenish those that are working and doing this every single day, that they're looking at God depression and they're looking at situations. We're looking at deterioration and facing death on a regular basis, God. And even in the re influx of this attack. We're asking God that you would give them strength, that you would cover them. Doctors and nurses and attendants and uh, physicians, God, those that are even helping those in rehab as they recover. God, in Jesus' name, but those that are cleaning the hospitals and making sure that they're clean, nursing homes and going into homes, God, those that are dealing with situations that seem to be unbearable. God, right now, those that are going to work on a regular basis every day that are getting inside of this attack of the enemy. God, we thank you that you have given them the victory, that you're covering them. Come on, that you're protecting them, that you're keeping them as your word said that you would. We love you for it, God. We ask that you give wisdom to those that are developing vaccines and God, that you would come against the wicked, stupid people, wicked, stupid people that would try to perpetuate and proliferate this virus and all of the attacks that are going on between co companies and governments and countries, God. Now in Jesus' name, we ask God that you would shut Sit down and remove all foolishness now in Jesus' name. Poor decision makers, God, poor leaders, God, that you would give wisdom and insight and that you would put on the heart and in the heart of people a desire to do good toward all mankind. God, we so loved us that you sent your son. And so, God, we ask that the word, your son, the word, the wisdom, the Holy Spirit, the change agent will go in and readjust minds. Take out hearts of stone, replace it with hearts of flesh. Take out hearts of greed and replace it with hearts of generosity. Take out hearts of attack and sinisterism and, and hate, God. Take it out and replace it with love, agape love, love for one another, compassion for one another, so that we may glorify your name here in the earth. We understand, God, that all things work together for our good and that you have had a plan. You're the author and the finisher and that you will never leave and you will never forsake. And so in this hour, in this moment, in this time, we trust and we believe. We stand and we stand therefore. We load up and we cover ourselves with the whole armor of God and we're prepared to go out and do battle. We love you this morning. We need you now this morning more than ever before. Thank you God for what you've already done. Thank you for what you always do. Thank you God for how you've always been. And Lord, we thank you that when we ran away from you, you ran God. We thank you Lord God that you never left us, that you never saw us and saw us in a situation and condition, but you saw us through the blood and through the eyes of Jesus who's ever living to make intercession for us. We thank you, Lord God, for panting God, for caring for us, for loving us. God, your running towards us was sending your son Jesus to die on the cross. Your running towards us was God sending your word so that it would get catch us while we were yet in sin, that it would keep us while we were being attacked, that it would cover us, that it would be a standard. Thank you, God, for never leaving and never abandoning us. We give you praise this morning. We thank you for your word. We receive 
receive now, God, in principle, what you have done, what you did for the Hebrews, what you did for the Israelites as you brought them out of captivity, as you brought them out of the wilderness and the, de and the desert. Your word says that they plundered the Egyptians, that they gave them everything that they desired. In Jesus' name, I declare, God, that you will give us as a people everything that we desire. Your kingdom, your kingdom people, those that love you, those that seek you, and we seek you today. We need you today. In Jesus' mighty name, we love you and we bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. Come on, somebody, give him glory this morning. Ha <laughs> ha. Come on, give him glory this morning. Give it all to him. Come on, give it all to him this morning. Come on, let somebody on the call know. Woo! That was heavy this morning. That was heavy this morning. Come on. Come on, bless his name. Bless his name. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Woo! Yes, sir. Listen, God Almighty. God Almighty. God Almighty, God, we thank you. We need you. We love you. We love you. We love you. We praise you this morning. God, we bless your name this morning. Help us to be able to receive, God, what you have decided and what you have desired for us. Our hearts, God, are towards you. We seek to glorify you. Help us not to get caught up in the foolishness. Hallelujah. Help us not to get caught up. Help us to make wise, righteous decisions on today because you have so much in store for us that we have yet to see. And we receive it now in the precious name of Yeshua, Jesus, our Lord, our Savior, our soon coming King. Listen, I love y'all. I'm telling you. Yeah, come on. Send up the hearts. Come on, send them up. My God, this morning. My God, this morning. My God, this morning. Listen, callers, I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much for joining in and being faithful. Uh, thank y'all for uh, for being with me this morning. Had to get these things together. <laughs> you had to get this stuff together. All right, listen, y'all be blessed. Have a wonderful day. Can't wait to see y'all. And when we get an opportunity, I promise you. Uh, I don't know if we're coming to where you are. Y'all are coming to where we are, but it's going to happen. We're going to get ourselves together, all right? Be blessed. Have a great, great day, man. Uh, rock out today, all right? Listen, IG, appreciate y'all so much. I uh, apologize for that. I did what my team told me to do. My team told me to put it on uh, airplane mode, and um, and then my Wi-Fi would work. Looks like the phone call still trying to come in and cut y'all off. <laughs> But y'all stayed faithful. Thank y'all so much for joining in and jumping on. Man, y'all did a great job on the day. Uh, let's make sure that we get uh, other people on tomorrow. I can't wait to meet you back here tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time for the Everyday Until Dynamic Devotion and Prayer. Man, listen, love you too, my man. Uh, be blessed and have a great, great day. Facebook, y'all know what's up. Y'all know what's up. Come on, y'all know what's up. And be trying to get us there for a minute. But listen, we've been doing this every day, right? We're doing this every day. Uh, go in, y'all, and dig that out. That's a powerful, powerful uh, word that the Lord uh, delivered through Moses to the children of Israel, especially in the situation that they were in. And uh, and you've got to see that. You, you, I mean, listen, you really got to see that whole thing, y'all. Uh, the Lord gives them uh, this word from Moses and tells them uh, after they've gone through what they did there in the wilderness uh, and tells them, hey, listen, uh, the Lord is going to command a blessing upon you. He's going to command. We know that we got the, the commanded blessing uh, from agreement, uh, but here is a commanded blessing that the Lord is going to place upon them uh, when we obey and, uh, and follow him. Uh, well, the principle is that, uh, and that's Job 36 and 11. You can go take a look at that for yourself, uh, that if I obey and serve him, if I uh, obey him and and follow him, man, that's, that, those are powerful principles. I won't give that scripture to y'all because I may use it tomorrow. So, <laughs> but I am, I am so glad that you guys got on. Do me a favor, like, comment, share, and tag somebody and get them here tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. Y'all have a great day. Y'all be blessed. All right, rock out. Let's go.